Hi everybody, I've got a new stream series for you. This time I'm showing my approach to creating a stylized plane in Modo, Substance Painter and Designer. For those of you who don't know me, I'm John, aka Graffiti, and I'm an environment artist with experience in both the animated film and games industries. As always, these videos are recorded live streams, and therefore there's no music, and each video is quite lengthy. So you might want to increase the speed of the video and put your own music on in the background. If you want to see me make stuff live, then please tune into my Twitch channel, and you can follow me on Twitter for updates. If you have any questions about my process, then please comment below and subscribe for new videos in the future. Enjoy. Okay, so this is where we got to last week. Thursday, I think. Who knows? Uh, so, we just went through the project. Uh, just find it. So, just kind of a project plan. Um, what it was going to be, how long I want to work on it, when can I work on it, um, why I'm doing the project, that kind of thing, where everything lives, reference, um, just to help iron out, um, you know, kits to help stay on track, I suppose. Uh, yeah, so from that, this is the concept I'm doing. Um, quite stylized, but I want to kind of go down to maybe a more realistic approach when it comes to um, uh, materials. Uh, have a look at Substance Painter 2018 uh, today, the um, feature overview, overview, and it was uh, looked really good. So hopefully get more stuck into that with this project. Uh, yeah, and then this is what I got up to, um, where we got up to, I should say, at the end of last time. So thought just to start we'll have a look in Photoshop just to kind of go well what's um, what's working what isn't maybe something to a few things to focus on something like that, just to get something like that. okay so um, I think to start with it's kind of it's the perspective isn't right in both these shots, so we're obviously going to be losing some something between them. Um, I think maybe this bit needs to be um, maybe a bit lower, so it's kind of a bit more streamlined um, to start with, and maybe this bit is higher. Um, just to kind of match these bits a bit more. Obviously we need to put all the gubbins and stuff, these pipes in, um, work out where the covers go in. Um, we need to put these cylinder things in. Obviously, you know, we'll detail this over time. Uh, but then I think it's kind of, it's sort of, perhaps maybe the plane, the whole thing needs to be slightly smaller. The guy takes up quite a lot of room in here, whereas our guy doesn't. So maybe like a, a tiny amount smaller. Uh, smaller scale. Uh, and then I think, so this bit here, it looks like, is a bit longer. Um, this back end bit. And everything seems to be quite soft, you know, nice curves and things like that. So I know this is only a block out, so it'd be good to try and work more curvature into the piece. And obviously we've got these... Uh, whatever these are down here. Times two, so we need to sort them out. And maybe this is like an aircraft carrier plane, maybe things are launched with these things at the bottom instead of, um, you know, landing with wheels, but then that kind of goes in with the how does it get back on the thing. 
Um, yeah, maybe just things need to be a bit more exaggerated, perhaps. And also something I want to kind of go for is um, is not having it mirrored on either side. So maybe these pipes are on this side, but what's on the other side? Um, just because it will help make it feel a bit more unique. Hey Automec, hey Leon, how you doing? Um, yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at, I suppose. So may as well crack on and just keep referring back to this. Need pure F open. And actually, let's save this out. So one D. And then we can bung this in here. Load reference. Cool. And then I want to I literally just drag stuff in. It might be that simple. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, excellent. So now we can see it. We can never get used to these controls. Right, just do everything with middle click. Finishing some work and learning for my final exams. Ooh, examinations. Um what are your exams in? Are they not just solely project based? It reminds me of there's a, uh, has anyone seen Green Wing? There's a guy in it who goes, examinations, and sings with it. I'll get you the link. I'll put it in the Discord when I find it later. Um, maybe even the actual. The width of the plane, it maybe it needs to be a bit fatter actually. Have a look at it. Just widen it out a little bit. God, I've got all the controls. It's been ages since I've been in Modo. So let's try and make this a bit more elongated down here. Still roughing, I'm not really bothered about how the geometry looks at the moment, it's more how it flows. Hi, Han Maniac, how you doing? Math, biology, and geology. Instead of the 77 and 88, maybe. How do you mean? I don't know what you mean by that. Um, math, biology, and geology, Jesus. Well. <laughs> Good luck. When are they coming up? something like that looks all right and then in here so we wanted this to come out slightly so let's just grab this whole bit the reason why I want to elongate it is when it helps with the shape of the plane but also when we're in these perspective shots we get to see more of the engine we 
do need to get rid of these the burnt normals here. The shame needs to come in slightly as well. More of a fall off. But after that, I'm done with school. Schools out forever. We've all been there. Um, I was going to say, yeah, boot camp was hard. I went for a run last week, and I feel like it's hindered me this week. I'm meant to be getting fitter, not more unfit. So, so yeah, do you have a? BFA thought about studying. What's a BFA? Is that a like some kind of bachelor's degree? I'll scale these. for a run as I missed the Domino's delivery man. <laughs> Come back with my food. Now uh, this, like making that bigger, let's just save a new version while we're here. So I might throw other things off. Which Said that if we're making the whole thing slightly smaller, Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Bachelor of Fine Arts, yeah. I heard Noman is the best school for art. Do you know a bit about some 3D art schools? Um, I think if you can get into Noman, then go to Noman because you're right, it is one of the best schools out there. I think with it depends on you know where you want to go, um, you know. Also, how much it's going to be, um, and also I would really look into what you're actually going to learn there. I think um, Maniac was having these questions the other night. Like, it was, it's all fine saying um, we will, you will learn game principles, or you'll, um, we will teach you game design basics, and then you'll do a game design. Um, project it's fine saying that but the problem is is what do they actually mean by that um, because so many people come out of schools now that they don't really know 
what what they've learned or is it even applicable um, so just something I suppose to just be mindful of um, because you know further study is a, is a great thing but if you're not learning what it is you know that's gonna get you a job then is it really worth it um, so because I went to Bournemouth and at the time it was top five in the world um, and I didn't have any 3d experience before I went um, so when I went I you know absolutely gunned for it I didn't really let up the whole time I was there I was learning a lot every day um, whereas I can't say the same for maybe another course in another place I mean mainly because I don't know but um, a lot of the, my friends who did go to Bournemouth are now placed in the industry somewhere and that's you know kind of goes to show how good it was as a course um, and I'm sure you know when you come out you're not going to get a job straight away unless you're super super talented but um, if you can at least come out with you know knowing exactly uh, you know going in and, and learning exactly what the industry is um, using or but that it's kind of it's hard because how when you first go in how do you know what the industry is using you kind of I think there's there needs to be more emphasis on learning stuff yourself, going out and finding things. A bit like finding these kind of streams or being in certain Discord groups or just googling stuff whenever you you know you want to learn something new. You've got to be very proactive with it. Um, and yeah, you could say that about any course. Um, but I think with the speed in which our industry moves, you you've got to be on it. You've got to be learning the. Um, the right stuff at the right time. Uh, I wasn't really aware that you need a solid portfolio to join Noman, and the average age is also 18. Um, yeah, well, I think Noman's good because they take the best and make them better. Um, so, yeah, I think having a, a strong portfolio going in you know, they obviously that is a requirement now but then at the same time you could you know do a BA or a BFA in something and then go to Noman in a few years why do you need to go now um, it's probably even better that you get your ground in somewhere else um, and then go to Noman and really refine what it is you want to work on or want to succeed at Because for me, I, I I went to Bournemouth knowing that I wanted to get into 3D and I did want to go into and do environment art, um, whereas no one there really wanted to do environments when I was there. It was kind of a bit weird, but um, but that's fine. Everyone wants to do characters. Um, and we did some character art. We did some animation work. We did all, all kinds of things and kind of opened your eyes to other parts of production, which is really good. Um, and you know doing a bachelor's will help you you know go down that route and kind of open up other, like show you other areas whereas at Noman I mean I, I'm just going on what I, I've seen online but I guess that they take people who already have some kind of inclination as to what it is they want to pursue and then they just focus on that while they're there uh, how is the pay as a 3D artist? I saw example. I saw example. Crytek environment artist is 27 and a half euro. Is that the average for an artist? And how much does it go? Right, so if you're if you're worried about money, then yeah, okay, that's fine. It's okay to be worried about money. Um, like, obviously, you want to earn something decent. Um, but if you are so concerned about money, then perhaps games isn't for you. 
because you're not likely to get the salary you want when you first start out. Um, it depends on where you are, what company you're working for, how much experience you have, how good you are. Like with any other job, um, it comes down to you know what can you demonstrate in your portfolio ahead of time, uh, ahead of the, the job role, and then go from there. Um, I think, you know, maybe 25 to 35 is like an average, I would say. Um, maybe. Um, and then if you go senior, you can put another maybe 10 on that. I may, and then if you're a lead, another 20. It's, but then that, that's really, that's not gospel. That's just me thinking about, mm, well, if I worked at a studio, a smaller studio than I am now, so in a smaller studio you're, might, you're probably more likely to climb the ladder quicker, but in a bigger company you get more security. Um, yeah, it's, it's a really... Um, yeah, exactly what Maniac says, and it's kind of like, there is room for, if you want to, you know, if you want to make money, if you've got a, an idea, and you start up on your own, your own company, you can do that, or maybe you start like an outsourcing company, um, if you know what you're doing, then you'll do quite well, but I think, you know, if anything, it's, you're enjoying what you're working in, so therefore the pay might not, not necessarily match up um, but then work doesn't feel like work because you like doing it um, yeah if you're looking for just like a easy money then it's probably not for you <laughs> But a lot of it depends on, you know, where you are, who you are, what skills you have, what skills the company needs, um, what they're working on. And remember, you know, studios close all the time. Um, it's kind of like, if you're looking for something very stable, then again, games is probably not for you. Um, I'm not saying that it's very unstable, but... I'm sure you've read about, you know, when Lionhead closed and uh, I want to say, is it Black Sea somewhere in Bulgaria? A Ubisoft studio closed as well. And it's kind of like people turn up to work one day and the, the doors are locked. Um, but then that can happen in other, in other you know, industries as well. Um, it's probably a bit more volatile in games though. Um... Yeah. <laughs> Not sound, making it sound great, am I? But Huey question, is it better to make your own light maps or let UE make them make them yourself? Uh, and make sure you've got, when you import the mesh, you have uh, auto-generate lighting UVs ticked off. 
Um, I don't know if it's been fixed in the current version, but if you have that ticked on and you import the mesh and then later you give it light and UVs and you untick it, it, well, I suppose you can't, when you untick it, it doesn't register it. And so you're stuck with a mesh that has light and UVs, but won't be used. Um, so I found that I had to delete the asset and re-import it uh, and set it so that you uh, you're not letting the Unreal generate the light and UVs. Um, yeah, I found that out the hard way on Beyond Human because it was like right at the end of the project and it was either carry on. It was just, it was basically, I had to either delete everything and import it again with my line maps or just leave it because it was going to take too long. So I left it. Since this okay, so we only have to worry about one side. So I'm winding this out because it looks like it's fat until get to the end so so perhaps we need to bring these out a bit I feel like this is going to be more straight down this side. So you can push this in. If 
haven't noticed, it's been a long time since I've modeled any kind of vehicle. So I'm probably be making tons of mistakes. Sorry, Leon, uh, sorry to ever <laughs> to put you off a career in games. Uh, it's not my intention at all. I, I think I'm just laying down kind of what I've learned over time. Um, just things to be wary of. save oh. so I edited those videos at the weekend all but the mono ones so hopefully uh, that was last weekend last Friday because I had to take the car in for a service yeah um, but means that they're all online well not yet they're on um, you know, they're, what you call it, private, I think, is that, is that what it's called? I don't know. Um, but I need to do my supporting PDFs and my Modo edits. Uh, so with any luck, end of the weekend, I can have all that online and the PDF set up on Gumroad for everybody. So um, yeah. And that'll be, you know, like one big weight off my mind and hopefully everything that we talked about or anyone who missed it, they can, you know, see it. Um, if you don't know what I'm on about, then keep an eye on here and you'll see it pop up. Um, and yes, Maniac. The, the car service I thought was going to be a lot more um, than it actually turned out to be. Generally, I always need to get four new tyres. But this time, tyres were um, fine. In fact, quote, the guy said it was fantastic. I was just like, that can't be right. Um, so yeah, pretty happy with that. I mean, it still cost, you know, an absolute fortune to do everything else, but um, that's all you can do, uh, you know? Especially, I took it to Volkswagen as well, so it was, they were going to up their prices anyway. But it's only because I eventually want to sell it, so I, I need to kind of keep on with the, um, the with, with the clean service history.
Oh, Range Rover. Oh. Oh. Hey, Storm Eagle. How are you? Great to have you pop in. Sure has. Well, hopefully, you know, you'll see maybe this project develop a bit more first hand than perhaps the last one. That reminds me, I'm, I've almost finished writing an article on um, the work process for Stairway to Heaven. Um, just going through by a distinct lack of planning, I ended up wasting so much time. So I know it's something I go on about a lot, but hopefully with some actual examples can kind of get a bit more of a feel of what I'm talking about. And also seeing it, you know, having the project be made before your eyes, you can kind of uh, see, oh, well, they did this bit at this stage and this bit at this stage, and oh, that's why that went wrong and stuff like that. See, what's annoying about this bit is that in the image, it's curved over, but then you've got this point here. So maybe this it just needs to be thinned out. Maybe that's it. bit smoother off. Maybe adjust it here as well. And then adjust these. Those windows are also curves down the side of the cockpit a bit. Ah, I didn't change this in the scale. It's another subdiv in it. Going the wrong way. Oops. Also, uh, Maniac, um, I had an absolutely terrific Bloodborne session at the weekend. Um, you know how I was saying that I kept dying in that first area, just I could not progress. I was getting so frustrated. And then at the weekend, Saturday night, uh, 
It didn't take me that long. I think I, I spent maybe an hour on it, but I just went around the whole thing. I found loads of, I found the, my way back to the starting lamp. And then from there, I um, went into the sewers a little bit. I got the madman's knowledge so then I could level up. And I was just like, oh, maybe I'm finally getting it. It was so good. Um, uh, so yeah. Uh, stick at it if you're still stuck. <laughs> Did you import that? Is yeah, it point to be this? Um, oh yes. <laughs> oh, let's change that. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even see that. <laughs> yeah, let's just move all that back. Um, I just found him on the internet. Um, I found him on the internet. Uh, I just typed in, I think, 3D character scale OBJ, something like that. Oh, this is looking terrible now. I feel like this is the problem sometimes with refining blockouts is that you can lose your way a bit. Um, Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, and then I just brought him in. I'm, basically, I made sure I took him into Unreal, and I think to match the third person character height, I needed to scale him down by, to 0 0.9. Um, but yeah, matched after that. So um, yeah, but yeah, I just found him online. Um, I need to put this down here. Almost like the this whole area is just too um, almost too long the cockpit area. feel a new mesh coming on you know around what we have just to help with the flow of geometry a bit more Some I've been playing Fortnite on my phone. Oh, is it any good on the phone? I mean, I haven't even played Fortnite, but I kind of my first thoughts for um, having it on your phone was a bit dubious because I was like, why would anyone want to play on their phone? Uh, you know, a game like that, anyway, would it be difficult? Is it? Yeah, it was kind of interesting. glass whatsoever. I think this is, you know, taking a bit more shape now, which is good. Might be worth just trying to flesh in some details. I think as we start fleshing more stuff in, 
going to get a better idea. And then hopefully by the end of the uh, stream, we'll have started to um, work on the actual final geo. So this I want to get a mirror for as well. I need a cone shaped. Okay, so something like around here. I also get a feeling that this bottom bit is flatter. Great clip. <laughs> Excellent clip. I think it's just the, uh, oh, oh, let's change that. Uh, <laughs> you've come back, Storm Eagle. You've come back. You've found the thing. Perfect. <laughs> My work here is done. artistic license with this. Such a fine bonus. <laughs> Be careful what you say that. <laughs> Feels like it's, you know, almost a little bit too far out of reach. So 
under the no, oh, maybe it's like somewhere around here. Talk still working on your portfolio. Is this for something different this time? No, portfolio stuff again. Um, yeah, uh, I think I'll just I'll always be working on portfolio stuff unless someone's got you know specific requests or we um, I do like a focus or I do a month of one focus thing. Um, so. Um, I think for me, as I think the, it's a good to have the goal as portfolio stuff because then it's like I'm working towards something that I actually want to make, as opposed to something just for fun. Um, I think if I uh, I think if the stuff I was working on was you know, for example, like so my the. The Lego games we produce is, you know, triple A, but it's not, in my mind, as triple A as something like The Division is or uh, Horizon or something like that. And I think I want to achieve that quality uh, in my portfolio. Um, so that's why I'm going to be, you know, pushing to do portfolio stuff more and more um, in my spare time, kind of much higher res stuff. Um, yeah, someone asked me the other day, um, when am I going to stop streaming? And I was just like, I never actually considered stopping streaming, which is kind of weird because I suppose in a way I didn't expect to enjoy streaming as much as I do. Um, and I kind of just thought, oh, yeah, that's a, I mean, it's a good point, but I haven't really got an answer because I... I haven't actually considered stopping anytime soon. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm just gonna keep going, keep doing stuff that I enjoy doing. Um, see what, see what happens really. Lego games used to be very popular years ago, not anymore. Yeah, I'd agree with that statement. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I played Lego Star Wars on back on PS2. Um, it's kind of weird when you think about. I used, I played this when I was young, and now I work there. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, I don't really want to get too much into talking about work, um, but. Yeah, it's kind of like with the amount of stuff that's coming out on ArtStation every day, I do feel like I'm falling behind a little bit. So, what if I can do anything in my spare time to try and, uh, you know, help out with um, my portfolio? Uh, just knowing that I, we won't be doing 
uh, that kind of thing at Lego. Um, you know, for me, it's just a, I need to, I've spent so long just sitting on the, the sidelines, I suppose, and not doing any personal work at home. Uh, just because, you know, in my previous job, I was quite happy and uh, things were quite sta stable and stuff like that. But um, I think with all the, you know, studio closures and stuff, but then also loads of awesome things coming out, I just kind of want to be as on top of my game as I can be. Uh, um, and I'm sure a lot of people are in the same boat, regardless of where they work. Um, so, um, yeah, really, I'm just trying to keep up with them. Uh, and it takes a lot of time. It's kind of like, so these are my evenings that I spend doing this. Um, so it's, it's kind of like, well... You know, I, I mean, it's a good thing I like doing 3D work. Um, I just love it. Um, but sometimes it is quite difficult after doing an eight hour day to come back and, you know, do something a bit different. Um, this feels like there's going to be a lot of devil in the detail on these finer elements. And also it's like, teaching is something that, I don't know, I'd, I'd kind of considered, but I always felt like a bit of an imposter, um, you know, how, why, why should people listen to what I've got to say, that kind of thing. Um, and I think just being able to fall back and, you know, be able to, it helps my communication skills other people can learn, you know, I'm learning as we're doing this kind of thing to some extent. Um, yeah, it's all going towards, you know, helping other people out, helping them breaking into the industry and um, yeah, and then by hopefully teaching other people I can learn myself and then you know you guys have chimed in with some work I've been doing on with some excellent help so it's I feel like it, it goes massively both ways um, and you know streaming it just so happens that once you get used to it it's um, it's really enjoyable and this looks totally wrong now, so maybe we just need to, this is only meant to be a rough block, maybe if we rotate it back a bit. Star Wars was so fun years ago, not sure what the new ones are like. Didn't you work on a Lego Star Wars game? Well, one of the newer ones. CD Projekt Red is hiring for their new game. Cyberpunk, by the way, the requirements are mainly just know your way around the basic industry, standard pro 2 plus, AAA. The problem is you would have to move to Poland to speak Polish. It's not true, you, you do not want to see a fat man like me. It's <laughs> upset. <laughs> um... Uh, what was I going to say? So I worked on Lego, the Star, Star Wars, the Force Awakens, uh, and I've done Ninjago. I did Lego Batman the movie, and we're on one at the moment. Um, 
Uh, the requirement is that you don't have to speak Polish at CD Projekt Red. I think everything is communicated in English, but I think they help you with um, language lessons, I think. Something like that. I did read it once. Um, and I think, uh, you know, that would be pretty cool. Um, we'll just see what happens. Um, um, Basically, it's not. It's also, it's not just me. I've got to think about. It. I've got to think about Lisa as well and what she wants to do. Um, so lots of things, you know, that tie together. Uh, plus, I've got debt at the moment that I'd rather get rid of before I move anywhere. And it's, um, yeah, they pay for Polish lessons. Yeah. Um, and you know, it, it would be pretty cool to get out of uh, Britain before Brexit happens. Um, but again, it's kind of like that sort of a bit out of my hands, but also it's just like the, these companies are at the top of their game. They're, you know, The Witcher 3 was a huge success and they've got, you know, like Dynasty, like uh, Jeremy in, in Malmo and everything that's happening there. And then you've got the Americas and um, although the whole visa thing over there is I don't really know what's going on like what you would get do with that um, is it apply for a green card or something or other um, so it's just I suppose really just I think also it's just kind of like I, I then kind of look at myself and go right well I don't think I'm good enough to be there um, like get that, that imposter syndrome kicking right in um, and it's yeah I think also if you're younger it's a lot easier because you have no commitments you don't have to you know you don't have to worry so much about things but um, I think for me right now um, I'm just the timing's a little out if something was to come up. Um, uh, even more reason to move to Poland. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, I didn't realize it was uh, had such a big following. Well, they've done well. I mean, CG Project Red of, you know, they're running with it. Uh, it does look quite interesting. It'd be interesting to see how it pans out. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's kind of, in a weird way, I've got my finger on the pulse of the industry quite a lot. I'm quite aware, I think, just of the, the amount of content that I absorb during the day. Um, you know, goes a long way. So and that's why I suppose I'm so comfortable talking about things. Um, and that's not just like what we're talking about now, but also, you know, uh, software stuff and things like that. And I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I don't know everything. I don't think anyone does know everything, but um, I think with just the amount of info that I pick up, I, I'm definitely a, mo a lot more confident in my own skills uh, now than I was a year ago, you know, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, yeah. Um, You know, if, if anything was to come up, I wouldn't stop streaming. Um, because, again, I mean, same situation, just different place. I need to feel like, just constantly feel like I need to prove myself and, you know, that I can do a good job and etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, yeah.
feeling on height of them, maybe a bit lower. I've never, I think, I don't think I have played D&D yet. It's one of those things I've always wanted to, but I've no idea what you do or anything like that. I know you get a character shield and it takes several hours to play, but um, yeah, it's something that I would definitely give, have a go at. And yeah, I didn't realise that Cyberpunk really had such a huge following. Um, that's really quite cool. Uh, right, in here. So we need... Uh, probably you. somewhere probably oh, okay so this is where the proportions kind of screw up a little bit so maybe this whole bottom bit needs to come forward so from here all of here Okay, thanks. Give some flat check. Um, I remember you saying that your company restricts you from joining another project. That makes it harder to find a stable new job. You could play if you want. I haven't ever played Indiana. I've tried multiple times to get a group together, but failed every time. <laughs> Lol. Yeah, let's give it a go sometime. Uh, maybe we should stream it as well. Um, <laughs> just for shits and giggles. Um, uh, yeah, so I think you'll find a lot of companies restrict you from doing things from the off. Um, but I think if you, you know, if you want to start a new project, I think the idea is that if you're making a game in your own time that's potentially a competitor against, thank you, your what you're working on, then they're, they're going to have problems with that. But if you say you want to do like a film project, then they might not have a problem with that. But I think it's you've got to kind of meet them halfway. I think it's kind of like it feels like they own your soul. Um, but if you talk to them about things, and this goes for a lot of, like, probably all companies, then um, it's just kind of, how can we work it so both parties are happy? Um, 
no, uh, believe me, I do enough of that at work. I don't need to do it at home too. <laughs> Hence why I'm doing this. <laughs> How are people feeling about this shape? Uh, I mean, the size of the thing. Do you think it needs to come in a bit further? It could be that this is quite large, actually. I did say we're going to elongate it as well, make it a bit higher and probably a bit wider. I think it needs to come in more. There will be, they will hypnotize you to a point where you'll start making things into Lego animals on stream. Um, one good thing, I mean, there's loads of good things, but like, because, you know, yes, there are Lego in the games, but generally the art isn't Lego. So, you know, that's, it's quite nice in a way because I don't tend to make a lot of Lego props or anything like that I tend to we tend to make kind of more real uh, props and that kind of thing um, and, and environments so it's um, that I mean we do have uh, members of our team who do the Lego uh, elements um, so but I mean that's not my my job role so I don't, I tend, I don't really, unless the game, you know, the art direction is Lego, um, I don't tend to do any of the actual Lego stuff. I think that's a bit closer to where we want. Before I'm making boxes with cylinders on the top all day. <laughs> well, I think that bit's already done for you. Uh, <laughs> it's just, it's kind of, I think, I mean, I don't know how they do it. Uh, well, we, you know, there's, like, there's bound to be like, you know, like a library of parts. And then you, you know, take them from there. Uh, so you do it once and you, you, you've done it. Um, a bit like with other companies with, you know, asset libraries. So I think it's more, there's more in the actual design of the puzzle and how it animates than, than you know, uh, spending tons of time modeling. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I got it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um... I forgot to ask actually, Stormy, are you, are you working on anything at the moment? Um, I 
can't remember if you said you were or not. You know, from last time. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. How's that going? Bit of a dinky thing now, this thing. down the middle. Getting some detail in, in there now, which is good. Uh, got most of it planned out, just need to make all the rooms and hallways, texture them and start filling them with furniture and stuff. Nice. Edited the exterior a bit because the front was a bit too big, so I need to redo some topology. Cool. A lot of work needs to be done basically, but by the end it will be a large alien bachelor with an interior you can explore. Yeah, uh, it seems to be, you know, I think I average, you know, between 7 and 10 per stream now, which is really good. You know, I'm quite happy with that. It does make working a lot easier. Um, 
just because it feels like more people are about um, that are working together, um, even though you know not necessarily on the same thing. And then Dynasty Auto, uh, I don't know if he auto hosts me, but um, he does host me from time to time, and um, you know that gives me an influx of, um, of of viewers, which is really nice of him. Um, basically, I'll I'll take whoever I can get. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, you know, obviously it's not tons of people, but the people in here are great, and um, you know, hopefully, you know, people are learning things and you know enjoying having me on in the background. But yeah, it, it is nice when more people are in here. Um, just because I think also for you guys, um, it's like you're bouncing off each other as well. It's all it's fine me reading stuff, but you know someone else might have the answer in chat slash a bit like with Leon's questions earlier about um, you know study. Um, it's kind of like a lot of people. I've been down that road, uh, so it's not just me giving out answers. Uh, it's other people too, which I love, love that. And it was, you know, super helpful when I was doing uh, Beyond Human because, you know, most people knew more about Unreal than I did then. look at just followed you on Twitter oh brilliant thank you um, <laughs> he's a pretty cool guy yeah probably probably not that uh, <laughs> um, well I mean Twitter is my main port of call um, but then you know twitch has really taken off for me you know as a as a platform um, so I'd kind of direct people there as much as I can and then um, what else am I on I suppose I've got a YouTube channel but that's only really so that I can um, you know have somewhere to post up videos if the videos are sticking around um, uh, what else am I on I am on Facebook but that's a personal account I don't really put work on there um, just because I don't really like Facebook anymore um, yeah okay we are getting somewhere with this now right so admittedly I know that these uh, panels are going to be you know um, created in the actual mesh um, 
but I'm just going to layer it on top right now so that I um, so that I can see it a bit better. You know, it wouldn't hurt at this stage as well to block in some colours. He says this could go horribly wrong. It might be very distracting, but we'll see. Um, might definitely help with, you know, the look of uh, what we're trying to achieve. Is that the colour already? No, it can't be. Maybe greyer. I'm pretty bang on. Like a salmon colour. A little grey. Just turn that down. Oh shit. So it's more of a blue. Something like that. Be a bit darker. Cool. So let's just get all of these working as well. Um See you soon, Nick. Yeah, have a great one. Um, been just for a while, but I haven't been able to do that much recently because I got to go to sleep before you. <laughs> that's fair enough. Though. So, well, that's the, the other reason why I point people to Discord as well, because even if you can't catch the streams, I'm always posting progress in there. And although I'm not, you know, in constantly typing, whenever I do find something quite interesting, I do generally put it on there. Um, you know, give feedback on stuff because I think that's important. I know it's that much more a bit lighter than that. Uh, looks like a light crimson. Let's have a look again. What did you say? A bit lighter. Yeah. Also, that metal looks like iron or aluminium. Maybe go for a dark silver or a light grey colour. Sure, maybe just increase the diffuse amount. Leave it like that for the moment. Maybe make it a bit greyer. I think it's really, it's just so that we can see a difference 
you know, in the and then compile like compare it back to the image, um, <coughs> and just see if anything's you know really jumping out that's incorrect, or maybe that we're missing something. Apologize this and make all the geometry flow really nicely. Okay, got some colour on it. Let's see what's going on a bit better now, which is cool. Um, ba -dum -dum, you used substance, didn't you, for texturing? Yeah, that bag needs some work. Looks good so far. Can't wait to see it when it's finished. Maybe you should add a flying script to it and slap it in on real, make it fly. Yeah, maybe. Uh, that would be pretty cool. In fact, that's not a bad idea if I had it you know, some flying information, or even if it was, because the other thing I was wondering is, what the hell does this look like when it's um, stationary? Um, so let me just get an instance of this again. Uh, da, da, da. All right, instance mirror, apply. Okay, and now we rotate this. I mean, it even looks cool with four wings, but, um, let me just rename this to be wing. Uh, <laughs> non flight mode. We'll call this wing. wing flight. And let's just have a look at this again. Um, yeah, I think some landing gear would be quite good. Um, but it's just kind of like, this is where the artistic license kind of comes into play, because it's like, well, how far are these meant to bend? And then do they bend, you know, do they bend further? And then if that's it kind of in its default landed uh, look, then you can't really like put very many next to each other because 
the wings take up so much room. Um, maybe the they go back on themselves. So maybe let's give that a go. And uh, so this is wing. But then you're thinking in here, it's like the, the landing gear would have to come right down, which would look really weird. What if we now angle this up? You know, how does that work? And then maybe the wing itself can rotate. to sex um, and it's kind of like that might take up more room rather than just having it as a simple con contraption that comes up and down likely scenario I would say but then how on earth would that contraption work <laughs> and then it kind of makes me think well this has got some sort of a contraption but then maybe that's for you know flying off a um, you know an aircraft carrier uh, or something like that Dallas Stone which 3D software package were you using before Modo? Uh, good question. So, when I first learned 3D, I used Softimage, Softimage XSI, which has now been, was, which at the, um, was independent to Autodesk, but then since then Autodesk bought it and then disbanded it. Um, so I learned XSI first, and then when I started my first job, we animated in exercise, so I still used exercise a bit, um, but I moved on to Lightwave, uh, which I think is still going now, but it's quite a primitive piece of software. Um, and then in my old job, that's where we learned how to use Modo, um, because Modo was built by some of the guys who uh, built Lightwave, um, so it was like a natural progression for us. Um, and then in that studio as well, we did a lot of uh, modeling in it and our lighting and rendering in Modo. So that's why we use Modo. And that's why now I can use Modo really well because I've, I've basically been using it for five years. Um, maybe the wings just adjust like a bird in order to fall, force the air to go into a different position. Uh, so... They go up and down to make it easier for the plane to go up and down. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. Uh, if you want free ones, I recommend Blender and Wings 3D. Yeah, so it's kind of like I didn't use Maya until I started working where I do now. Um, managed to avoid it until then, which is pretty good because I find Maya so clunky to use. Um, it's no secret how much I dislike Maya <laughs> on this stream. <laughs> um, but yeah, for me, Modo rules the roost. Uh, 
Oh, I see what you mean, um, Storm Eagle now. There seems to be a, like a cut on the wings, so maybe we could have it fold from there, which would be pretty cool. Mm. So if we separate this... Mm. Again, we'll do another instance mirror. So from here, let's just select all this. So it kind of feels a bit more like a hurricane. making a bit more interesting silhouette with it. Um, professionally I use my but I've been late been trying out Blender. Isn't what I'm <laughs> be <your> right here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> lol. Uh, right, sorry about that. I think it's just uh, because I used to be really into aircraft when I was younger, and it reminds me of, if I go, hurricane aircraft carrier. That kind of looks like it. Some Spitfires. Yeah, this kind of thing. Um, and they're going on that the the wheels are coming out of the wings, whereas we need to somehow get wings, get the wheels from the middle. I suppose they could be angled. That could work. Um, so, Dallas Doan, do you, if I'm saying that right, D Dallas Doan? Is that, um, do you work in 3D? Do you do that kind of thing? Um, uh, I hear Modo is amazing, but I figured I'd try out Blender since it's free. If I don't like it, I can always try out Modo. Modo does have a free trial like most kind. Yes, that's true. So I'm used to how it works, yeah. When you... Can will you rip this apart? Ah, okay. Yeah, let's look at the end. Um, maybe they curve down that little slot and tuck underneath the plane. Yeah. Currently an environment artist at EA. Wow. Which studio do you work in? Um, If you look at the front, there are some metal looking feet. Yeah, um, yeah, these feet, I think that's exactly uh, <laughs> what, that's kind of the problem is that they're, they're more feet than wheels. Uh, EA Vancouver, blimey, how long have you been there? And uh, what have you been working on recently? Um, if you can tell us, that is, obviously. Um, uh, great to have a fellow environment artist here. Um, yeah. 
what I was going to say, Dallas, was if you... Um, okay, so first, like everybody else, we've got a Discord, so if you get onto that, then I update everybody with what I'm doing and stuff like that uh, through that. But then if you keep an eye on um, my YouTube channel, uh, I, I actually did a quick start to Modo um, stream uh, last month. Uh, what month are we in? Yeah, so actually only a few weeks ago. And I'm going to be putting up the, um, I'm just, I've got to edit the video. Um, so if you're looking to learn Modo, then this quick starts for you. Um, so if you keep an eye on those two, then you're bound to catch it at some point. Um, and I think the Modo streams we did, there was uh, three hours each. So we did one focused on uh, finding your way around and modeling and the tools you can use. And then we did the other one, which was more focused on doing materials and shader work. And uh, we did a high to low bake at the end. I go through particles and replicators and retopology and that kind of thing. So if you can hang around, like if you're interested, uh, and I know there's loads of tutorials out there already, um, but um, I think you, um, yeah, you would be, you know, someone who can um, uh, you know, learn from that uh, if, you're, if you are looking to, you know, have a quick blaster at Modo. Um, and yeah, I agree with Dallas. Um, we're, like neither of us, even though we're in different companies, we can't really talk about anything. Um, so don't please. And I'm, I'm, you know, you're all respectable people. Don't spam people with, uh, you know, constants. And I'm not saying you, you would start Storm Eagle or anybody in here. Just um, but <laughs> we only know so much, <laughs> and most things we can't talk about. Um, Yes, uh, Plants vs. Zombies, Gun War War 2, nice. I've heard it was really good. I've never actually played it myself. I love the style of it. Um, I recently worked on the Stars Project that got cancelled. Other titles are unannounced. That's pretty cool, though. How long have you been there? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, we're all on the same page, yeah. No, I just thought I'd you know, wheel that out <laughs> just before, because you never know who turns up. Uh, <laughs> and also, I don't think I've ever, I've only banned one person ever, um, and I can't remember how to do it, so... <laughs> Hitting four years soon and worked as an industry student for this Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You have got tons of experience then. Are you from... Um, Canada originally, or you know, did you study? I don't know, are you British or did you study in America? Or tell us some life story stuff and how are you finding it? Are you, um, you know, how like being at a bigger studio now uh, instead of working uh, at an indie studio? Born and raised in Canada, boom. Some feet. Uh, right, so we need to really model in these other feet, whatever they are. Okay, we've got cylinders and squares going on. Why is this music? So all we'll remix on the same. Uh, no, it's the same song over and over. Sorry about that. So this probably goes 
looking thing. Well, this has moved on quickly. Um, I love it here at EA. Brilliant. Take really good care of you. Great. Just don't keep why they have see we already weird. I can't say that was the case many years ago, but since I've been here, the culture has changed. That's pretty cool. It's actually not a secret. A CEO wrote up a statement. I just can't or won't rewrite what he wrote. Just call it, and I'm sure you can find it. Ah, okay, just just Google it. <laughs> uh, uh, so. Um, I've been doing streaming for just over a year now. Um, yeah, so I started last February. Um, what the hell was I even working on last February? I cannot remember. <clears throat> Some probably oh, I was working on like a like a city environment, but this was back in this like I haven't done streaming. I, my whole workflow has improved massively. Um, I think when I first started, um, it was just um, like it was good doing it. Where's this thing coming from? It's in here. Um, but it was kind of like I was just you know falling into the traps of just starting stuff straight away, not really planning anything, not really thinking about what I was doing. Um, so in my first, in like my very first streams. Uh, it, it was all a bit of a mess, really, uh, but I stuck with it, and um, now here we are, uh, just over a year later. Um, and you know, it's uh, I tell you what, in the in the beginning, it wasn't an easy road. It was it's kind of a bit weird streaming, um, I must admit, because it's kind of like I think it's something that you just get used to um, over time. Um, you know being able to talk and work at the same time and being able to explain what you're doing can be a bit tricky um, but you know over time you get used to things so yeah um, and really I started it um, because I was struggling to commit to work in my personal time um, and so it was kind of a way of structuring my time better uh, and actually making time for personal work which uh, I just didn't really do or never really had time or didn't really know how to um, and that's why I go on about planning a lot in these streams because it's kind of you're getting yourself into the mentality of doing stuff at home which can be you know really difficult um, uh, yeah, so a bit of a long-winded answer, but there you go. Uh, <laughs> and I think I've done two projects while streaming now. Um, uh, so uh, if you does this work? No, nothing. Balls got the wrong thing. Portfolio. So yeah, that's my portfolio, uh, Dallas. If you're if you're interested. Um, so I worked. I used to work in film, uh, and now I work uh, in game, um, uh, and that's kind of like my story in a very small nutshell. Um, uh, yeah. Let's duplicate 
this. Let's move this back in. So it could be that we move these wings back. A bit further. Yeah, that'll work. And then that means that these can probably come out a little bit. bit further forward. We make them a bit smaller. Um bum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba ba Created. Oh, is that my actual account date? Oh, I'm gonna write that down. Hmm. My account was created, and some stuff in my face. Does it? I don't suppose you know where you can find out when your first stream was. Um, or know where you can find it out. Maybe the wings flap and it lands like a bird. <laughs> I can tell you now, I'm not going to get into animated that thing. Um, do you imagine it flapping in the midair? I suppose that would look quite cool, but um, and different. But that just sounds like it's going to be a hell of a lot of work for me. <laughs> Quite like the idea of that it's like an aircraft carrier plane, like short range. But that doesn't solve the issue when it comes into land. Um, so it would be good if you know these tucked away, perhaps when um, and they had wheels on them. So let's just wings folded so I know there's a difference. And then in here, I think I prefer that. You know, so they the wings kind of come out more and then as they're rotating they fold down. I think that would be you know quite cool. And plus we can get some nice detail in, in the wings when they fold away. Um, and it's also like just a like a like a small you know contraption in here to to make them do that. Um, it's just kind of a matter, I would say, of how far we have to be off the ground in order for the legs to work. So what if these are? Perhaps. I 
right now and we're going to have to get more substantial might work. So, let's just get this as wheels, and this one is claws. like that because the other thing now is you know what's happening at the back we might just be you know massively overthinking this and wasting a lot of time but yeah we'll see so those are like that and then instead of rotating the model let's rotate the plane I mean the ground so what issues are we going to run into? So maybe here, these now need to rotate. So in fact, these need to be on the ground. Um. Oh, sorry, Dallas, do you mean which do I prefer as in film or games or between studios um is 8 p.m the only time you can stream at by the way um so no it's not the only time i can stream uh, the reason why i've stuck to tuesdays and thursdays is because it works uh, in the past um lisa and i didn't live together we lived in different cities so we ha i had to keep the weekends free um and so streaming during the week was, you know, easy. Uh, that was my time to do it. Um, and then the reason why I've left it is Tuesday and Thursday is because, you know, it's kind of a, it's not Monday, it's not the first day back. Uh, Thursdays, um, because they, you know, uh, the way they fall, as in <laughs> second day of the week and fourth day of the week, it's kind of like a nice break between the two, um, which is great. Um, I've streamed a couple of times on the weekend when, uh, you know, Lisa's gone out or we're not doing anything. Um, but that's more of an impromptu thing. Um, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not completely set on 
it has to be this time. It's just it's working for me quite well at the moment. Um, I can't really stream any earlier because it takes me, you know, traffic is dependent on the day. Um, and I can't really stream any later, um, you know, finish like after 11 because it's like it disrupts when we go to bed and stuff. Um, but day wise, we can mix up the days um, and just see what works really. Um, yeah. I know that it's, you know, not convenient for everybody. Um, yeah. So can we have this fall now at the, at the base somewhere? Tiny little wheel. Um, and Dallas, um, it's a weird one because obviously in a bigger company we get tons of benefits and it's awesome. Um, uh, at the smaller company I was actually made redundant but I think at the time it was, you know, um, it, I think like the, the, like you were saying, the, um, culture at the company was suffering and you know what moving I think that year I was looking for a way out anyway so it was kind of a blessing in disguise um, being made redundant um, so yeah I think uh, for me um, it was kind of a bit of a weird way to go out but um, I'm quite glad that my life went in this direction because at the end of the day I did want to get into games I just ended up in film because they uh, offered me a job first um, and I learned a lot in film before moving over to games so um, yeah it's kind of uh, that's how it worked out for me and you know what I quite like how that's looking as a part uh, plane. So it might be just a matter now of how this might all fit together. Uh, I mean, for a start, it might be that these have to come in a bit. feel good, you know, like they work with the, uh, with the plane a bit more. Right, he's pretty happy, this guy. We're going downhill, boys. Uh, yeah, that's not too bad, actually. Uh, I think the, the wheels will still need some work. Maybe they come... Oh, that's an idea. Me... Uh, I 
maybe they're kind of in the rims a bit more. Maybe this is more open. And they kind of come over these. I think it's just trying to get it work to work, you know, mechanically correct. It's going to be difficult, but that's not too bad. Um, just the light stand up light. I can still occasionally pop into a few streams now and then, though. You might have to remove that back pipe. It will get in the way of the back wheel unless you just move it in front of the wheel. Oh, I didn't even see that pipe. I will move it so it's in front. Great spot. Well, um, Storm, I'll, um, I'll, or I always post in the Discord, uh, you know, when I'm doing the occasional stream, which isn't, you know, actually scheduled in correctly but um, I know that's not you know great for you um, yeah because uh, I know you don't want to be staying up later than you have to either uh, so yeah I mean we'll see how it goes it could be that a, a change I could change days the problem with you know doing it on the weekend and kind of booking that in is that I'm, you know, some weekends I'm, I'm doing nothing and some weekends I'm in a different city and um, it's kind of a lot harder to, um, you know, I'm kind of going into other people's plans then if I, if I work on the weekend, but then because I have a full time job, I can't really, there's only a, a number of options I can choose for um, working during the week. on this um I look at the discord every day to check out what you've done see what other people have made too oh that's good because i mean generally i feel like i'm the, <laughs> I'm the only one well maniac writes a lot in there I keep seeing those flames <laughs> um yeah i think like for me i can only access it through my phone when i'm at work um we're basically we've got quite a lockdown internet we're not really allowed any social media um uh, through our internet um so it's kind of it makes things a lot difficult a lot more a lot harder to um you know communicate with people um when i'm at work um which is you know I find annoying, uh, but it means that I can't be on Discord as much as I'd like to be. Um, so yeah, I try and kind of make it up uh, at other times, but generally I have to be on my computer because you know that's where all my links are. Um, I'm faster to type, that kind of thing. Looks like the pilot steps onto the side pipe to get inside. Yeah, that would make sense. Um, I found we could loft something so we can see that. Uh, so let's do that now. Uh, I should probably save a new 
version of this. At this rate, it looks like uh, <laughs> modeling might take another, well, even at this block out stage modeling. So maybe you've got another session of this kind of modeling, figuring stuff out on Thursday. Then next week we'll be refining the block out uh, and UV in. So maybe this project's actually going to already going to start going overdue. <laughs> Shit. Oh well. Um, I do want to do like a, a big thing. Uh, like I really want to get into stuck into substance with this. Okay, so guide curve. going so we want it to come out of here come around to here to here This is off screen at the moment. I want to add an operator and I want this geo. Can I not have that? Oh shit, no, sorry. Did I do a, a quick tip on this? I can't remember. No, didn't do a single thing on it. So many quick tips I want to be able to do. It's just finding the time. Ooh, Hello. What? what happened then? Why did that suddenly work? So, if I move this now... Oh, there we go. Okay, great. this. There we go. There we go. Um, looks like the planet. Yeah, you spent a ton of time on that mountain pathway. Would you have the time to play D&D? Well, I would actually like to play with you, but it depends on if you have the time to deal with it. Wait, she spawned a pipe out of nowhere. Um, uh, admittedly, right now, I don't have time. <laughs> like, I, I really want to play Bloodborne more, but I don't even have time to, to, time to do that. Um, uh, and the next, you know, month, two months, is chock-a-block for me uh, in terms of weekend time. So, unfortunately, yeah, it's probably not. I'm not going to be as available as, as I'd like to be. Um, uh... Which yeah is a is a shame because that would be a pretty cool thing to be able to do. Um, 
And then what else did you say? I spent a ton of time on that mountain. Yes, I did spend a ton of time on the mountain. Um, when I've done this article, I'll be able to, um, you'll be able to read, you know, for yourselves, you know, why and kind of why I keep going on about a lot of um, why planning is so important. Um, because I wasted a lot of time, a hell of a lot of time on that project. And I, I didn't need to. Um, uh, yeah, so it's kind of frustrating, but at the same time, if I didn't do it, then I want to have learned as much as I do did learn. So it's not not a complete waste of time. It just feels like it a little bit. <laughs> So let's move some of these verts back a bit. Another vert to this mesh, I don't think. Maybe. Traverse down here, so I could just move everything a bit further down the line. Planning is very important. I went through a ton of designs for my new ship before I set on phone, although I wasn't basing it off anything really. I just wanted to create something unique, so that's why it took so long. Yeah, I think that's it. I think um, it's kind of like, yes, you want it to look good at the end and interesting. Um, and I think, you know, with the stairway, it was kind of like, hey, here's a, an interesting picture. This would be really cool to actually make. Um, but then not actually really thinking about, um, you know, how would this work in a game um, environment? And, you know, how would it... Um, do, do I know enough about modeling or uh, landscaping in Unreal to pull this off and it's kind of what like a bit like with Beyond Human it's kind of um, 
until you kind of get stuck in, you don't really know how long something's going to take. Um, I think I was kind of very aware that I wanted it to be a quick project, even though it really didn't turn out to be a quick project. And um, uh, because of that, I was kind of reluctant to um, do anything that wasn't completely necessary. Um, and that's probably what cost me some time as well. Uh, because, you know, refusing to learn stuff stops you from, you know, progressing anyway. So, um, yeah, I think I could have just, if I just planned, you know, sorted out the composition from the beginning, had a look at lighting from the beginning, then I would have been a, in a much better situation later on. work 23.7 Definitely happened by chance last time. Mm. Tell you what, what I could do is I could.
Tools. My page, get in there. Um, uh, that's the benefit of your portfolio. You learn how to more. Yeah, exactly. The pipe is a large pipe that splits off into two small ones. So you might want to increase the size a bit on the other end. Yes, that's true. Um, is this a random plane? Or is it from a book or something like that? Are you going to make that a part of the other pipe because it was caused texture? Yeah, so eventually I will probably combine these. Um, it won't be that hard to combine them and then I can just put a seam in the texture or something to show that they've been sewn together. Um, and this plane is actually uh, from, so it's a uh, this, this guy uh, who works at our studio um, called Ian Thowdy. Uh, so here, let's just get him up. So he's got some pretty awesome work. Um, but yeah, the plane's one of his creations. And I just saw it and I thought, oh, that looks pretty cool uh, and a bit different. So might give it a go uh, a model in it so that's kind of uh, you know what I thought I'd do Thank you. 
Dookie. Uh, and then in this bit. Actually, I could probably do copy them. Okay. Even now, I can you can see that this is a bit more directly under under it, but I think this is where it's gonna kind of come down to what looks good. So I think like all of these could be moved over a little bit. Um, but you know, there's a lot of geometry now, so it's gonna be a bit of a faff to to move, so we'll save that for next time, I think. Let's just get this curve going in the back here. This kind of arcs round. For some reason, this time it's worked first time. way too much geometry in this bit. So, let's get rid of you. Maybe get rid of you.
use these up here. Like so. I think it kind of goes into the side, but we will leave that for the moment. something like that for the moment that'll be fine um don't really need to warn you on this stuff really you know what you're doing i've just been giving out so much advice to people now new to modeling i tend to do it by habit why do you move the back or do you have it so i just have it um uh what do you call it it's hidden uh so it's here yeah, I just turned out all that off for the moment so that I could, you know, focus on the plane itself. Um, yeah. So I think I'm going to leave it there in terms of, you know, actually, let's see if we can quickly do these hinges because that would be a very quick and easy thing to do. Extra detail. Get a bit more out of it, really. It won't take long either. And then I'm just going to quickly look at the Hard Maniac stuff. And then I will do an update in the stream progress. And we'll call it an out. And this is blown by. storm it's like don't worry about you know, giving feedback on whatever it's I mean I do look over obviously I'm reading the the chat um, but yeah I think I've just I've done things like you have done things yourself so many times that you kind of if it doesn't look you know right straight away I just kind of like go back and fix it but yeah selection okay uh, that's fine a bit higher smaller
go. Uh, <laughs> I'm completely the wrong place. Yeah, I think, you know, we're getting there now a bit more. Uh, just refining it and refining it. Um, I mean, that's what it was was like when we came in. This is what it's like now. I think it's just, you know, constantly refining. I think it's taken quite a long time because, you know, because it has to be aerodynamic, it's curving in all directions, but... Um, and then we, you know, we looked at how maybe the undercarriage would work and how would it, you know, fold away and kind of being a bit more liberal with the design um, for that uh, and kind of experimenting all takes time. Um, so, so yeah, um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave that there. When you texture the plane, are you going to go for a cartoony texture or maybe realistic? I'm just going to make a cartoon. Uh, I'm actually going to go realistic. Um, because I think it'd be quite cool to um, see this as a, an actual, you know, plane that could fly uh, in, in like another universe. Um, and I think it, I mean, if, this is all up in the air, but I think it would be quite cool if we could, you know, make it a, little, a bit more realistic and maybe have different uh, color variants and stuff like that. Um, and, and you know what, if we render this in, say, something like Modo, we could texture it realistically and then slap on the uh, cell shade look and see what it looks like as well. So um, we'll, we'll see. Okay, so I am going to leave it there for tonight. Um, and I'm just going to get this progress up um, for everybody. And then I'll be back on Thursday. So if you are knocking about then, then that's great. Uh, if not, um, I'll be on Discord and what have you, and um, yeah, it'll be yeah. I'll I'll see you in there or on Thursday. But yeah. <laughs>